Liam Allen, the 23-year-old who died after police tried to arrest him on Friday, August the 26th on the Kingston Bridge, is said to have been left in the water by police who didn't even throw him a life buoy after he entered the river. Liam is said to have been having an argument with his girlfriend when police arrived following a report from a member of the public. Police are said to have tried to arrest Liam for theft when he, using the words they keep using, entered the water. The IOPC have confirmed that after viewing body-worn camera footage that Liam ran down some steps from Riverside Walk into the water and began swimming away into the river immediately after being advised he was being arrested. Liam's family, however, have hit out after he entered the river that the police failed to throw the life boy that was just feet away. Liam's stepmum claims that a police liaison officer told them the life boy had not been used after reviewing body-worn footage and the family claimed it also appeared untouched when they arrived at the scene. The Metropolitan Police, of course, said it was not appropriate to comment with the ongoing IOPC investigation, and the IOPC themselves said it could not verify the claim with the investigation ongoing, although the IOPC have said they are looking into the actions taken by the Metropolitan Police following Liam entering the water. Liam's dad, James Allen, said... I just wish that allegation of theft was never made because the police were not if the police were not called over that we would never be in this spot i think it's disgusting because there was a life boy there they are talking to him for 15 minutes you do not let someone get close to the river in a confined area he added he was a good kid he was trying so hard he had big dreams of doing music and from what i've heard and from what i've been told he was quite good as well i'm broken he was just so bubbly. He would talk to anyone. He would do anything for anyone. He was a little git sometimes. He was no angel. He had his tellings off, but he had a good heart. He would give someone his last pound, and he often did. I was with him in Hounslow once, and he gave a homeless bloke some money, considering he did not have a lot himself. He would talk to the most random people walking down the street. He would always come in with bits for the kids. It's been a bad couple of years. We lost my mum and dad, and now Liam. Deputy Assistant Commissioner Lawrence Taylor said, My thoughts and those of the Metropolitan Police Service are with the friends and family of the man who has sadly lost his life following this incident. I fully appreciate the public will be very concerned. We, of course, share that concern. The Met's Directorate of Professional Standards made an immediate referral to the Independent Office for Police Conduct as is protocol in any incident in which a person comes to harm following police contact. We will fully support the IOPC's investigation. But that's a bit of a cheeky statement to make. I mean, he didn't exactly come to harm now, did he? He died. Now, with the information from the previous report about how police stopped Liam's girlfriend going in after him and allegedly said, don't worry, we can see him, he'll be all right, and with the allegation that the life boy wasn't even used, it seems that the Met will have a fair bit of explaining to do. Another very sad loss of life, although the question does remain, and I've got to be honest, why Liam tried to escape from them in the first place? With Liam no longer about to explain that, well, I guess police can pretty much say what they like.